Hi, I'm Sean Baggett. I'm a technical sales engineer with Cyware Systems. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to use the portable rotator to measure dry hay using the Dairyland Lab calibrations. And what we'll do is we'll pour our alfalfa hay and then what we'll do is compress that sample down with our lid and make sure it's finger tight. I'm going to check the bottom to make sure there are no uh, big leaves that will get in, interfere with our scan. And then inside the mobile app, we'll go ahead and click scan. And this will run through six sub-scans and then average those together to give you your final result. And this calibration is testing for moisture, crude protein, and neutral detergent fiber. Here below you can customize your sample ID as well as change the operator of who is using the scanner. While this is going on, we can go into our histories tab and look at all of our past scans and check the trend charts for each of the parameters. It takes about one to two minutes to uh, give you your final result. Depending on the homogeneity of the sample, uh, for instance, for forages, we'll want about five to six subscans to really characterize that for, uh, variation in the sample. So if you were just doing like a corn silage, would that be a little faster uh, it would be. It would take about the same time. Okay. Yep. But for something like flour or um, soybean meal, there may be three to four subscans. Yep. And there it gives you your results. And here we can see that our geotag location is enabled. So that will pinpoint where we are taking the scan from. You can also take pictures of your sample. Why is that important to pinpoint the location? For instance, if you're tracking how each field is performing, um, if you have multiple fields that you're tracking, uh, that is one way to, to analyze that. And is that what most people would do? Yes, they would take it right out to the field, grab a sample, and you can measure right on the spot. Wonderful. Yep.